Welcome Pokemon Go trainers, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am featuring a team which was suggested by my subscriber Staraptor and Grey Ninja. So I have paired it with Cresselia and I am playing it in open great league. So let's see how it performs. Before starting the video, I would like to request all my viewers to please subscribe the channel and support it. So let's begin the video. I am leading with Grey Ninja and Staraptor at the back and Cresselia and Dragonite lead, very bad lead. I am going to throw the Night Slash because Dragonite is very squishy in the Great League so they will definitely shield and yes they do so I am going to dip into Cresselia not going to stay there and he is going to throw a Dragon Claw he is not going to dip maybe he is going to throw and then dip let's see and he throws Dragon Claw it doesn't do that much and he comes with the Shadow Grand Bull Shadow Grand Bull should avoid the Green Ninja because it will just melt him so I am going to bait him with the Grass Knot let's see and he doesn't fall for it he's continuing to farm up i'm going to go for another grass knot this might grab the final shield or it will knock out the grand bull but still dragonite at the back and my back pokemon are not going to survive the dragon breathe easily so let's see what we can do here so we are going to do the same thing we are going to throw another night slash and hoping to grab the final shield let's see what he's going to do here so going for the night slash and yes he does give up the final shield and we come with the staraptor with two shield definitely we are going to shield everything whatever he is going to throw at us and he throws a dragon claw i am going to build up and here opponent is lagging or i am not sure what is going on so he comes with a shadow quagsire i have back to back move so going for this close combat this will do a heavy damage it might knock out maybe and actually quagsire survive with HP definitely we are going to shield here because I know I can win the CMP tie against the Dragonite so we can come and go for the fly immediately this will knock out the Dragonite and we'll secure the win with the Staraptor so good game for the opponent and we won the first match of this video let's move towards the next opponent let's see what the next opponent has Grey Ninja versus Alteria another bad lead so we are going to stay and we'll try to spam those night slashes so going for the first one hoping for the boost if i get the boost then i can at least grab some shield here so going for the night slash and no boost i think so going for the second one look let's hope for the boost here so going for the night slash i'm very unlucky regarding the boost so yes there is no boost now i try to catch the sky attack on my chrysalia and it was a perfect smooth catch and he is going to definitely throw a sky attack and opponent is staying here so i will full send the moon blast to knock out because grass knot is double resisted because of its flying and dragon typing so he's going to throw a move here and it's another sky attack chrysalia very tanky so that's why we have two very squishy pokemon in our team and we have paired a strong bulky pokemon chrysalia and he shields here so this tells me there is something at the back could be possibly weak to Cresselia so we are going to go for this grass knot and he double shields so that was very weird so this time I'm not going to shield I'm going to save two shield for my Staraptor let's see and he throws a sky attack coming with the Staraptor and hopefully I can farm him down and yes I was able to do that and here comes the Galarian stun fist and this close combat is going to do so much damage let's see how much damage it does it is super effective and from the shadow star after look at the damage it survived with few hp definitely we are going to shield here not going to risk it and it's a rock slide so here comes the azumarill this is not a good situation and here i did a mistake i went for the night slash for the boost hope but i should have went for the hydro cannon instead so going for the night slash and no boost and next time I'm going to go for the correct move hydro cannon and hydro cannon does more damage rather than the night slash which is resisted even hydro cannon is resisted but it does more damage so he has lot of energy now and I think he has a back to back move loaded so still I shielded here and another mistake I did here I miscounted the moves and he had a back to back ice beam so this ice beam is going to be enough to knock out the staraptor and they will secure the win moving towards the next opponent grey ninja versus swablu it's a psychic typing pokemon so we are going to stay here and he dips into dubwool 
I stayed a bit longer and then I threw the hydro cannon. I think I should have dipped into Chrysalia immediately. So I went for the hydro cannon to make him low and now I can comfortably come with Chrysalia. I hope that he was running wild charge and body slam. So I didn't shield and then I realized it was a payback. And I think this is a range where grass knot should be enough to knock out the dub wool. So we are going to go for the grass knot. This might grab the shield and it gets knocks out. And here comes the talent flame. This is not a good situation because talent flame with energy is very dangerous. And I'm not running future sight, so I have to go for the moon blast. And he's not going to shield. He counts the move correctly. So I go for the grass knot here for some chip damage. And definitely is not going to shield. He is counting the move correctly. It puts him very low, but still. Grey Ninja, I think one fly or Brave Bird will just knock out. But still we are going to call it. Let's see what he's going to throw here. And he throws Flame Charge and look at the damage. And now Incinerate are just shredding this Grey Ninja. And he throws another Flame Charge here. And now I think Incinerate will be doing more. And look at the damage. It is resisted move. And I was able to farm him down. And here comes the Swoo Bat and I'm going to go for the Night Slash which is super effective. I have back to back loaded so I'm going to throw the second one immediately. And let's see if this grabs the final shield. I think he might shield here and later I think one shield Star Raptor should clean the game. And here I was not sure what Swoo Bat runs so I decided to shield here. But he throws I think Psychic Fang which is very unfortunate. And for some reason opponent decide to resign the match. Maybe he thought I am running Brave Bird which is just going to knock out. So let's move towards the next opponent. Fraligator versus Grey Ninja. I am going to throw Night Slash immediately. Let's see. I don't think he's going to shield here. Fast move are resisted from both ends. So going for the Night Slash because it does a neutral damage. And I do get the boost here which is very good. And here I decided to no shield because I can survive a Hydro Cannon. And yes I do but still it put me in a red health. I go for the night slash immediately. This will knock out or it might shield. Let's see. And good decision of not shielding because I am about to reach another one. And here for some reason I go for the night slash instead of hydro cannon. I should have went for the hydro cannon. So this night slash still grabs the shield which is very good. And I am going to come with definitely Chrysalia. Because Chrysalia can tank the move. And I am going to generate Moon Blast but he reaches his move. This could be a dig which is going to do heavy damage. But still Chrysalia a tanky Pokemon can tank it very well. Opponent has one shield so we go for the Moon Blast. This will do more damage. And it puts him into yellow health. And then I tried to catch. I thought he might throw the move immediately. But unfortunately we are met with the Cloth Sire which has Stone Edge. Which is going to just one shot the Staraptor. So definitely we are going to shield. Actually we have to double shield here. So generating back to back fly and going for it. Let's see what he's going to do. He might shield. Let's see. So going for this. And look at the damage it did most. And second one will just knock out the Clot Sire. Or might grab the shield. Let's see. And he shields here. So hopefully I can reach. But he reaches Stone Edge. So yes we are going to shield here. Not going to risk it. Now this looks winnable because I can reach fly immediately over farming a bit and knocking out the cloth sire and hopefully I can reach another fly to knock out the Gligar. Even if it is not happening we are going to still win because Chrysalia is healthy and we can reach our grass knot. So he throws aerial ace and I survive but I was unfortunately unable to move. So coming back to Chrysalia and throwing this grass knot on the charge attack. This could be a dig which is not going to enough to knock out the Chrysalia. Actually he throws Aerial Ace. And now this Grass Knot is just going to be enough to knock out the Gligar and we secure the win. And let's move towards the next opponent. Let's see what the next opponent has. Hopefully you are enjoying this subscriber video. And moving towards the next opponent Drapion versus Grey Ninja. And... He comes in with a Polyrath so I have a hard answer which is Chrysalia. So I am going to throw the Grass Knot but he debuffs me before that. This is definitely an icy win which is going to debuff me. 
that's very unfortunate so we are now going to go for the hard hitting move moon blast which is going to do more damage so let's see if he's going to shield here i don't think and going for the moon blast and look at the damage it just put him in a red health and i think one grass knot should be enough now so he is going to throw another move and he throws another icy wind so i think i will over farm here and go for the grass knot this will knock out the polyrath and let's see what is going to do and he doesn't shield and we are going to knock out the poly and here comes the drapion so i decided to swap out back into green ninja going for the hydro cannon this will do a heavy damage let's see if he's going to shield here and he doesn't shield and he's going to throw a move i thought this could be a sludge bomb but i decided to call and actually it was a sludge bomb and this is not looking good now i have a move loaded on my chrysalia so i'm going to throw it immediately waiting for my switch timer and we both have two shield so this is looking a bit uncomfortable let's see what is going to happen so going for the grass knot and grabbing at least the first shield and he's going to throw a crunch now so this crunch i'm not going to shield i'm going to put up all my faith on staraptor coming into staraptor and hopefully i can just wing attack him down and yes i was able to do that and at the back it's a jelly saint this looks winnable and opponent realize that so he just resigns the match so this is the final match of this video green ninja versus glygar a very good lead so we are going to stay here and throw the hydro cannon but i think he throws a move here immediately i was generating back to back hydro cannon to threaten the shield so i can survive the aerial ace and he was trying to catch the hydro cannon on lantern so i have a good answer good to see that lantern is coming here in the chrysalia matchup because our two pokemons are really weak against the lantern and he goes for the thunderbolt it does good amount of damage this grass knot is going to be super effective let's see if he's going to shield here and he doesn't next grass knot is definitely going to knock out going for it and i hope he might put up a fight for the switch so he's going to i think shield here and yes he does and here i don't think i have to shield because i can tank another thunderbolt easily so not going to shield here and actually he goes for the bait surf and i reach grass knot that's very unfortunate i lose the cmp so i decided to shield at least to grab the final shield if he wants to win the switch so going for this grass knot this will knock out or grab the final shield here and it knocks out and here comes the glygar and i immediately swap out into green ninja and met with tremnant so i have lot of energy so going for the night slash look at the damage and i have back to back night slash this night slash will be enough to knock out the tremnant let's see and he doesn't shield i go for the hydro cannon here and this will be super effective if he doesn't shield let's see what is going to do here and he shields and now we can close out the game with the staraptor so we are going to come with staraptor and i think fly should be enough to knock out the glygar going for it and let's see how much damage it does this will do enough damage and yes it does and we secure the win so hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and share with your pogo friends till the time take care trainers have a good day